Hey guys, just a quick reminder that I have a 500 sub giveaway going on right now. If you look at the top of the screen, I got a link to that video as well as a link down in the description as well. So be sure to check it out for your chance to win an Aquamax LED light fixture. Hi everybody, Jay the Fish Guy here. So today we got a fish order and uh, I figured I'd do a, an unboxing video of the fish for you. Uh, I have some salt, some fresh, few different clients orders and a couple of goodies for myself as well. Um, I order from a company called Quality Marine out of LA and uh, they're, they're wholesale only, they don't sell direct to the public. Um, I use them almost exclusively when I worked at the LFS and I was doing orders there and just a great, great company. Uh, as the name suggests, uh, quality <laughs> is definitely what you get with them. This isn't a paid advertisement or anything like that. It's just I really believe in these guys and I love the quality of stuff that they send me. Uh, my guy Lauren over there is my rep and uh, he's just a great guy to deal with. Uh, always make sure I get as good a fill as I can possibly get and make sure I get the best of the best when he goes out and picks for me when I have some special requests. Uh, so a little shout out to him and again Quality Marine. Uh, they do have freshwater stuff as well that's a little relatively new for them. Uh, Aqua Tropic I think is their, uh, their freshwater side. So anyway, without further ado, let's, uh, let's open up some fish. It always feels like Christmas whenever I get a fish order in. It doesn't matter if it's stuff for me or stuff for clients. Uh, it's always very exciting. So just got some uh, macro algae here. Had a customer looking for some macro algae. We got some smaller Nasarius snails. Just make sure I'm getting that. Oh, there we go. Smaller Nasarius snails, the sand sifting marine snails. These guys are a larger version of Nasarius snails. These guys are, they, this company refers to them as, let's see if I can get that to focus, maybe? Not so much. There we go. Uh, brown blotch Babylonia snails. And they are pretty good size. I mean, these guys are probably uh, quarter size. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, you know, if you haven't had Nasarius sand sifters before, you know, these guys are like little submarines. They pop up out of the sand bed whenever uh, you put some food in. Uh, they, they're fun. This is a little uh, Catalina goby. We have some, these guys are called uh, top crown snails. A little bit larger uh, for folks that have larger tanks or uh, fish that might uh, bother the little ones. These big guys generally do pretty well. This is a blue dot puffer. Um, not going to show his best colors. Usually they're a nice bright orange and with the, the bright blue spots on them. They're a little uh, sharp nose puffer. They don't get terribly big. Uh, they will go after your inverts, uh, so you kind of have to be careful with that as far as crab, snails, shrimp. Um, but otherwise, uh, just a, a great little, great little puffer. This is a red male liar tail. He's, uh, he's looking a little shy right now. I'm gonna give him a few minutes. We got a snowflake moray. Nice little guy. of red tip hermits. These are kind of my go-to for uh, reef safe hermit crabs. They don't get terribly big. They don't tend to bother each other, uh, well, any more so than others. Uh, sometimes they like to eat their neighbor, but for the most part, uh, they do pretty well. Great algae grazers, great uh, detritus eaters. Got ourselves, this one is the short spine urchin. Got a 
classic cleaner shrimp. A little bit hard to see, but always a fun addition. I, I always love it when I go into a tank to do some cleaning and the, the cleaner shrimp hops on me and starts cleaning up my, uh, my hand as I'm in there. Got some uh, pajama cardinals, PJ cardinals. small long spined urchin. The urchins can be a great algae eater, great uh, glass cleaner. Um, the only downside is if you're hoping to grow coralline algae, they tend to eat coralline algae as well. So you may have a tank that you're just overrun with the coralline and you'd like it uh, a little bit easier to maintain. Uh, that's where the urchins can kind of help out. This guy is uh, a barnacle blenny. He's a great little nano fish. A lot of personality. Let's see if I can get him to get a little closer here. Great little personality. Um, I'll show the name. That way you can look him up if you want because he's not being terribly uh, photogenic. Um, they're, they're a lot of fun in a smaller tank where you can't really do too many fish or you can't have any large fish. Um, they're always out and about just cruising around perched up on rock. A lot of fun. Okay, next box. There'll be more saltwater stuff. Let's see what we got. Got uh, Margarita snails, they usually pack these dry with some damp newspaper, so I'm not going to really be able to see much on that one. We got more margarita snails, same thing. This is a uh, female liar tail Antheus. Let's see if I can cooperate here. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> Ended up getting a harem of those, so I got a male and two females. Here we got a yellow eye coal tang. So some of you may or may not be aware, there's some legislature going on in Hawaii right now that they've actually managed to shut down the fish trade completely. So nobody's collecting anything Hawaiian right now. So the stuff that you're seeing for sale in like this yellow eye coal tang is some of the last stuff that was legally collected and available for sale. So you may notice prices on certain Hawaiian fish really start to, to go up and pretty quickly probably as supplies start to go down. This we have a spiny box burfish. He's similar to like a porcupine puffer as far as behavior and uh, feeding and care and all that good stuff. Uh, to me, they look a, a little cooler. They got a little more uh, color to them and the spikes that kind of stick up as opposed to down all the time. We got, this is a Tierra Antheus female and I ended up doing a harem of these guys as well. So, a little, little female there. Got, this is our male Tierra Antheus. Cooperate a little bit here. Kind of, sort of. Again, I'll, I'll probably end up putting the, the names up on the screen for everything so you guys can check them out if you're so inclined. The other female Tierra Antheus. And what else do we have there? We have cute little baby Huma Trigger. Don't even get me to pronounce the the full name. Uh, it's not in my ability. <laughs> I, I don't do very well with pronunciations of Latin names, but uh, the classic Huma Huma trigger here. I have a client that's doing a, an aggressive tank, fish only tank, and uh, a lot of these guys are all for him. 
more uh, more red tip permits. And we got the other female liar tail. Okay. So that I think does it for fresh or for salt rather. I, I might have a little bit more in one of these other little boxes. Let's see. Seems like I'm missing a couple of things. Let's go to this box. Oh yeah, there we go. We got an Indonesian male blue jaw trigger. If you guys look these up when they're colored up, if you're not familiar, they're just an amazing looking fish. The colors are just, just out of this world. We got a little Volatan lion. They're so cute when they're small. <laughs> I don't think these guys need any introduction. We're probably all familiar with Volatan lions. And last but not least, uh, we actually got a special order coral. This was a, they call it a dented brain. Um, it's a symphilia. Uh, you're not really going to be able to tell a whole heck of a lot out of this. Maybe I'll I'll get uh, Drew to take a picture of it once it's in the tank and uh, be able to see it a little bit better. All right, so that was salt water. Now for fresh water. And I'm excited about this because I have one fish in here that I ordered specifically that's going to be going in my 180. So I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully it came in good size. So, um... Got an albino tiger Oscar. Okay. Everybody knows what an Oscar is, I'm sure. <laughs> Got a regular tiger Oscar, little guy. We got, let's see. These are some female guppies, nothing too fancy there. This is a spotted sailfin. The L number is uh, L001. He uh, he looked pretty cool, and he was he was short money, so I figured I'd uh, add another another pleco to the list here as far as what I got around kicking around the house. Hard to really get a good picture of him. This is I got uh, some Jack Dempsey's. I only technically needed one uh, for a client, but I had to buy three of them. That was a minimum. So, uh, got a couple of extra small Jack Dempsey's that'll be kicking around. Got, let's see. These are some assassin snails. These are cool. I actually hope to, to get to breed them in one of my basement setups. Uh, you know, people always end up with those nuisance plant snails. And uh, the assassin snails are a great, great way to take care of them uh, and not have to worry about having a specialty fish uh, to do it that might go after your other delicate fish. They actually, they're supposed to be able to breed pretty easy. They'll eat any kind of sinking pelleted food. These are uh, some cobra guppies, uh, mixed males to go with the females. Bushy nose albino gold plecos. See if they'll come down out of the top of the bag for me. Yep, oh, they're little guys. Little, little, little. Just barely see them. <laughs> we got. Oh, this is the one. This is what I was hoping for, but he's a little smaller than I was expecting. This is a, an ornate Bashir. So similar to the one that's in my son's tank, the whole dinosaur eel, polypomo, you know, again, whatever you want to call them. This is the ornate version uh, with just amazing colors, amazing patterns. I've always wanted one, and they're just not on my list very often. And when I saw them, I figured I just had to have them. And we got some black liar tail mollies. Nothing too exciting. 
and some German blue rams. All right, guys. Well, that does it for this fish order. I'm not going to waste too much time here. I just wanted to figure I'd do a video while I go through this process anyway, because I got to check on everybody before I head out the door. But I got to get these guys boxed back up and uh, headed out to my clients. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.